Oof. Gosh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, what is up you guys? This is Steffi, AKA in my humble opinion, and welcome back to another video. So today we are continuing with our tier ranking videos, and we are gonna be ranking my least favorite to my most favorite performances in the lead acting categories. So um, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, I will link it up here in the cards so you can check that out to get a better idea of what we're gonna be doing today. The lead actress category is gonna be tough. Whew. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do the guys first because I think, per usual, the women are more interesting. If you wanna fill out the um, tier ranking as well, if you go on like tiermaker.com and I i don't know, maybe you search for me in my humble opinion or just search like best actress nominees, like you'll find the, the list that I made, so, okay. All right, so here we are, it is the best acting category. So we have five performances to rank. We have Chadwick Boseman in Ma Rainey, Gary Oldman in Mank, Riz Ahmed, Sound of Metal, Anthony Hopkins, The Father, Stephen Yun, Minari. My fifth favorite performance. I think that's a nicer way of saying it, right? Instead of like my least favorite. My fifth favorite performance from the guys in the lead acting category. Well, that's easy. I'm putting Mr. Gary Oldman here at number five. He was good in that movie. I didn't really talk about him in my review of Mank, but he's good in it, but I feel like he's just drunk all the time in that movie. <laughs> so yeah, he's number five for me. Oh God, no, this is hard. Um, oh no. I'm gonna put Steven Yun as number four. I think, you know, he does great playing the father in Minari, not to be confused with the father, the film, but he plays the dad in Minari and um, kind of a heartbreaking role really, because he's trying so hard to, I think he has that line in, in that movie that I really liked. It was like, I have to succeed at this because I can't have my kids watch me fail or like watch me fail again. I don't know, it was more eloquent in the movie, but <laughs> guy trying his best at the American dream, but I'm putting it at number four because I, in third place, really liked Riz Ahmed because it's just a really interesting story. I'm kind of surprised that it took this long for a movie like Sound of Metal to be made, like in terms of like capturing that story, that experience. His character really goes through all the stages of grief in that one and um, the range, the range. This is where it gets tricky, but I know what I'm gonna do. My second favorite performance in the acting category is Mr. Chadwick Boseman. And I know I said in my Ma Rainey review that I don't think they're gonna give the Oscar to him just because, you know, he's no longer with us. Like he actually does deserve it. And he does, like his performance is really great in Ma Rainey. It's more his movie than Viola Davis's movie. But I said all of that before I saw The Father. And coming in at number one is my favorite lead actor performance of the year is Mr. Anthony Hopkins in The Father. Man, The Father, whoo, what a movie. Anthony Hopkins is just really good in The Father. I don't really know what his <laughs> chances are in terms of actually winning the Oscar at this point, but if there was someone who were to do like a surprise upset at the very end and win over Chadwick, the person I think is the most deserving is Anthony Hopkins. I'm locking in as my number one. So from five to one, so my fifth favorite performance in the lead acting category is Gary Oldman in Mank. Fourth favorite is, this is four. Fourth favorite is Steven Yun in Minari. Third favorite, Riz Ahmed in Sound of Metal. Second favorite, Chadwick Boseman in Ma Rainey. And my favorite performance in the lead actor category is Anthony Hopkins in The Father. Now, Let's move on to a very exciting category, and this is the best actress category. We have Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman, Frances McDormand for Nomadland, Viola Davis for Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, Andre Day for United States vs. Billie Holiday, and we also have Vanessa Kirby in Pieces of a Woman. Gosh, I feel like I saw these movies like so long ago now. <laughs> um, hmm, this is hard. All of these ladies are so good. Mmm. Wow. Oof. Gosh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. How is this gonna go? Um, oh my gosh. 
Ugh, they're all really good. Okay, just, it's okay. Calm down, it's okay. This is just, it's just a tier video. It's just a tier video on YouTube. Let's calm down. This is gonna be, I don't know how controversial this is. Number five, I'm gonna go with Francis McDormand as my fifth favorite. I definitely feel like of the five, it's the most like natural of the five. Like it's not like a, a, a huge performance. She doesn't have these like really dramatic monologues or she's not like yelling or anything. And that in and of itself is a skill too. Like that takes a certain kind of craftsmanship for you to make something look so natural. But I'm putting Frances McDormand as my fifth favorite performance in the lead actress category. I, this is number four, Viola Davis. Oh my God, I'm like shocking myself. Yeah, I mean, Viola, come on. Viola Davis is Viola Davis. Shout out to my birthday buddy. She and I had the same birthday. And also she just won the SAG award the other day. So she's great in Ma Rainey, really great but she's just my fourth favorite performance in comparison to what we have here, what we have left. Number three, Vanessa Kirby in Pieces of a Woman. Vanessa Kirby, Oscar hype, it really peaked before Oscar season like truly started. And then once it started, it died. Plus the Shia LaBeouf of it all, like I really don't think she has a chance of winning the Oscar, but I think her performance is so great in Pieces of a Woman. I've been a Vanessa Kirby fan ever since The Crown. Love Princess Margaret. Still one of my favorite characters from that entire franchise. But yeah, in terms of Pieces of a Woman, Vanessa Kirby, like what she does in the first 30 minutes of that movie is just, woo! Ladies, like when you watch that movie, you'll be like, I never want to give birth. Like <laughs> it is sad and heartbreaking. So also really loved her coats. Now that I'm looking at this picture. Okay. So now we get to number two. <laughs> um, oh God. I think they're both kind of big, bigger performances, but you know, two very different movies. Wow. I'm struggling here. Your girl is struggling here. Um, what do we do you guys? I feel like for me of the two, Andre Day has like the bigger performance and you know, as Billie Holiday, like she gets to sing and you know, she really goes through it in United States versus Billie Holiday. And I love, see, that's the thing. I love music biopics. Like I love that genre. And even though that movie was like a fucking mess, she was good in it. But then you have like Carey Mulligan and Promising Young Woman. And that character of Cassie, she is so like hyper-focused on her mission of accountability, of revenge. That was really exciting to see. And then what happens to her at the very end, really sad, but yeah. Okay. I'm going to say number two, Andre Day. Number one, Carrie Mulligan. I'm just going to go with that. Because for me, like, again, I know this is maybe like not doing the assignment correctly, but that United States versus Billie Holiday movie is such a freaking mess. And it really is only her performance that saves it. But Carrie Mulligan, that performance is great. And on top of that, the movie is fairly solid. Definitely way more solid than United States versus Billie Holiday. So there we go. That's it. My fifth favorite performance in the lead actress category, number five, Frances McDormand in Nomadland. Number four, Viola Davis in Ma Rainey. Number three, Vanessa Kirby in Pieces of a Woman. Number two, Andre Day in United States versus Billie Holiday. And at number one, as my most favorite lead actress performance, Carrie Mulligan in Promising Young Woman. I just have to say too, like genuinely, if any of these five women were to win the Oscar, I'd be happy. Like I would genuinely be happy for them because across the board, like they're solid. So there we go. All right, well, that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button down below so you know when a new video from me comes out. And comment down below what your rankings are for the lead acting categories this year for the Oscar nominees. It's okay if we disagree, it's all right. We're allowed to have our own opinions, but I'd be so interested to read what your guys' rankings are for the lead acting categories. And if you wanna do the tier listing stuff, again, I don't really know how this works, but you can try searching my name on that tier listing website, or if anything, just search like best acting nominees Oscars 2021 and hopefully mine will pop up. So yeah, that is pretty much it. As always, everything I said, which is my own personal thoughts and all my humble opinion, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!